Being a disease detective is a really exhilarating job because you get deployed, sometimes at really short notice, to anywhere that there could be an outbreak of any possible thing. And oftentimes when you arrive, you're one of the first officials on the scene and you may not even know what is making people sick. All you may have been told is, go to this area, there have been six deaths in the same community or go to this area two dozen people suddenly have a bright red rash so you go with often very little information and it's your job to build trust with people even when they're really panicking and they're sick and to get as much information as you can to try and piece together all the different parts of a jigsaw puzzle to figure out what's making these people sick and how you can stop it. You're currently exploring the way that news spreads during epidemics during a public health crisis, how might we limit the spread of misinformation? So I'm currently a John S. Knight Fellow at Stanford University investigating not just the way that diseases spread during an epidemic, but how misinformation about diseases spreads during an epidemic. We've seen that contagions have the ability to impact communities in really powerful ways. We've seen even in the last few years that an epidemic can impact a society's economy. It can impact the way people communicate with their neighbors, the way that they travel. So I'm really interested in how news spreads and how we can keep people safe, not just by stopping the disease, but stopping any rumors and any pseudoscience about the disease as well. And how do you think we could actually do that? I don't know yet. And that's why I'm at Stanford, surrounded by very, very clever people who are from very different backgrounds, computer scientists and economists, trying to figure out how does a rumor spread when you have a huge Ebola outbreak? And what could we do in the future? Because we know we'll always have more outbreaks. So what could we do in the future to detect those rumors early on and almost kind of vaccinate against them, so, you know, stop them in their tracks, stop them spreading?